Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Sasu Du, Hong Wang An, and Puppeteer. And I'm uh, gonna be with Universal Soldier, so, um, let's go. Oh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any videos such as this coming out of my channel and or streams. Let's go. I'm going to be the yellow player once again. Similar to the last battle with 3 versus 3 with Chahine, Universal Soldier would be at the top left hand corner. Two barracks, as of course there's some containers around here at the bottom side of the map uh, that needs to be collected. Alright, so we gather the uh, sub containers. Um, uh, Universal Soldier advised me that he'll be collecting the containers from around here, so I had my rifleman's retreat. Okay, now we go over here and collect those super can no those uh, small container Okay So uh, it's basically impossible for me to get this super container around here as we both know that there are deltas that are going to try and obtain it And so there's like this going on around here and I only got like a Kaiman helping out Okay, and I'll have my wasp help out um, Universal Soldier obtain this super container around here. Man, that is some strong Cerberus, my man. Okay, he's going to run away. My wasp. Okay, many deltas around here. Obviously, a gun tower has already been uh, pro uh, built. Kablooey! Okay, Cerberus has been destroyed. We're now taking down that uh, Typhoon that's been affected by that Acid Burst. Okay, well, what a solid exchange in there. Alright now, adding more supply centers here on my end. Okay, still HQ2 as uh, they both invested too much on this uh, super container. Okay, fast forward by a bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wasp here to scout the base of the blue, which is also going HQ3. Both uh, Universal Soldier and Sasu Huang An are also going HQ3. In the meantime, this guy right here, already HQ level 3. No hero facility as of yet. Ooh, that is very dangerous. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Whatever. Oh, an alert for a typhoon or whatever, whatever. Okay. Again, more alligators here in my end, as of course I don't want to be surprised by any Viking attack. Okay, HQ level 4. Attack coming over here. I threw the acid strike. There's like a Jaguar right here, three armadillos, and so on. Okay. And uh, my partner, the uh, Jaguar, actually focused on some of the units that has been affected by the acid burst. I moved my aviation at the very back of the Universal Soldier's base to somewhat avoid those typhoons. There you go. Very, very good defense here from uh, Universal Soldier. And here are my alligators hungry for those units that are trying to retreat back to their base. Using a, uh, an attack boost to shave off the HP of those typhoons, if not destroy it. Bam. Okay. Okay, so I'm really eager for that Typhoon. I'm going to use a Gold Naval Scouting just to catch up to it. And again, use the Naval Strike Boost just to destroy it. Yay! Alright, now I'm going to go over here. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to retreat. As I saw those Vikings, they're going to flank me from that side. Okay, so he's going to have to try and attack. Let's see how this goes. Fast forward a bit. Mole is already here, Mole turrets deployed, and all of a sudden that Zeus has evaporated due to sheer outnumber, man. I mean, due to the sheer number of those turrets and the Jaguars firing at it. Power plant being uh, targeted, drilled by that Mole. Drill it! Okay, positioning myself to get, her this, uh, to get this super container. Oh, and then there you go, that's Solaris with a shield. Oh man, that is absolutely nutty. Now the mole will have to retreat along with the rest of the units right here. As of course, 
Universal Soldier has HQ level 3. I'm wondering where is the uh, Leviathan? Leviathan here in my end being produced now. Almost done with it. Okay. So I'm positioning my alligators here to somewhat, you know, in a straight line. Good concave against these guys, Vikings. Sky here with the coyote. Okay. Scout made by that assault. Okay. There's another super container appearing right over here. Leviathan already popped out here in my end. Okay, we see an engagement right there. Solaris used its active skill and now lounging towards that many Jaguars right there, my man. That's not good. Okay, the shield is here to save the day, obviously. Oh, and then there's that Solaris of Seraphima. Oh, no. There's like two Seraphims right here. Where the hell did this guy hide his X facility? Okay. There's like only one uh, porcupine here. And, oh, I'm actually prepping up for that attack to flank both the CN and the Solaris or the Army of the Blue. Okay. Non-stop or continuous production of those alligators right there. Positioning my uh, dragonflies in the wasp to soak up the damage so that my Leviathan gets to live another day. Okay, I think there's uh, there will be a nuke launched here. Okay. Oh, but I actually decided to move into attacking this base right here of the blue guy. As of course it is exposed. Okay, now they are unsuspecting of this attack, which makes it really, really fatal. Okay, now let's see now. Power plant is going to get demolished uh, right out the bat right there. X facility is uh, damaged. Acid burst. Nuclear to follow up. Dragonflies is additional firepower in meat bag. Serafima activating its passive right there, attacking my uh, Leviathan. Two Leviathans here. I switched to an air raid boost. Kablooey. And then another Leviathan. Oh no, Leviathan. Oh, Seraphim needs anti-air. Seraphim needs anti-air. Yay. Kablooey. Okay. Wow. My Leviathan with the... Uh, Maxed out anti-air upgrade. Just demolished two Seraphim on its own. With an air raid boost. <laughs> okay, I managed to take out the X facility. And I'm going to have to retreat after demolishing some of the defenses. As well as the X facility. And of course, two Seraphims from those guys. Okay, now I'm going to have to rebuild the army here. Um, increase the number of those Alligatoras. Okay, here. Oh, we're... Wow, okay, there's like a Beholder right there. I'm pretty sure that that Beholder can see this army laying down right here. Okay, wait. Boom, okay. I mean, that's not really a solid hit. However, there's like two Solaris here, a Beholder, a Seraphim, and then a, a small chunk of Zeus as usual. Okay, now again, I'm positioning my army around here. In the hopes of attacking or helping Universal Soldier with the defense. Now keep in mind that I also have this hidden infantry scouted across all, all over the bottom side of the map to avoid being flanked or being surprised. Wasp is already here. HQ5 has been uh, dropped. Waiting for it. I got like platforms around here in the event that the attack um, or the defense of this alligator has failed. All right now. Ooh. Wow, okay, wow, that's a nice effect there, man. That's cool. Okay, we see like a straight line right here. Using a uh, recovery boost. HP of the Leviathan is now full. Getting this super container. Adding more anti-air as I'm going to have to drop the nuke. Okay, now, and uh, he might actually try an attack. That's not really a good idea as I got like a huge concave here with those Vikings. Okay, I signaled the attack right here as the super container popped up. 
there goes the Seraphim launching its skill. We zoom out here. Beholder with the scan. Oh man, intense acid strike. Boom! Okay, my Leviathan just ignored the hell out of that Seraphim and just continued to ransack the shield. Seraphim has been destroyed. Another nuclear dropping from Universal Soldiers to Leviathan. Oh, and then all of a sudden, this is not looking good. Oh, disgusting damage. Okay, what a very successful uh, siege right there. Yes. We did manage to destroy two armies right there. Heroes of both the faction. And here we go. The, the Vikings already uh, planned out their attack, as I am not weary of it. Okay. I'm using a common attack boost this time around. A uh, vertex attack my Leviathan, so I'm gonna have to retreat, as I did not really see the number of those vertex at the time they attacked. Okay, and so due to the massive advantage of my numbers, I managed to quill down this attack here. However, I'm going to have to retreat as I actually went in the range of those platforms, which if I continued attacking this way, I would have lost the entire naval army. Oh, they actually built up a defense right there. Okay, use a gold naval scouting boost to increase the speed of my alligators to quickly retreat out of that messy situation. Nuclear is already here. I got like three anti-air being built. Oh man, this is nuts. Okay, recovery boost now. We see a dragonfly at the top, and we see like a Serafima right over there. Additional anti-air here on my end. Wasp will now be reproduced. Position my army in a defensive formation against those Vikings as I'm opting out for a nuclear. Hence, I'll definitely have less alligators um, on the ocean. So, placing them on the defensive line will give me more chances of winning a defensive battle. Okay, nuclear is here. I wanted to scout right here as of course I wanted to nuke the entire army as it will allow Universal Soldier to just lounge in the base. However, that's not going to be the case. And so I'm going to have to try and destroy that uh, base right there. And oh wow, there's like this scout. Cute scout. Okay, here we got like the wasp and the leviathan right there. Again, using a common defense boost. Nuclear has been launched right around the center of the base. Here we go. Boo! Wow. That airfield still lived to see another day. Wow. Very, very tough buildings, man, from Satu Oang. And, and here goes the army of the, uh, the blue player. Okay, not really that many uh, porcupines here as it will as it still take time. To destroy that Seraphima. However, that Solaris is badly bruised up. Okay, now the blue player Sathu Hoangan is now going to retreat. Seraphim from the Sea Ant player is here. And, and oh wow, there's like wow, an anti air, typhoons, two Seraphims. It's not really looking good. Not really looking good here, my man. I'm gonna have to launch the nuke as the final uh, breath of my Leviathan draws close. At least I'll deal damage as much as I can. Okay. Ooh, it got space strike as well. Wow. Okay. I advised a universal soldier to. Ooh, man. Solid hit, dude. Okay. There's that Solaris from the CEM player still alive. Okay. Leviathan will now be reproduced. HQ level 5 going with the... Uh, oh, wow. He also has stores. This uh, Sathu Hoangan has also has stores. That server's jumped and killed a chameleon right off the bat. Oh, another chameleon's going down. Okay, Mole here trying desperately to, to repair each unit here, keeping them alive. Solar is taking a huge chunk of damage. Oh, the Doser scored a solid hit. Ah, oh, that Vertex, man. That Vertex is bringing us so much trouble. 
Oh, that, ooh, nice. Managed to destroy that Solaris. Okay, no more X facility for you, my friend. Okay, we see like two airfields here that's not been destroyed by the nuclear despite being close to them. Just how tough are those airfields? Kablooey! Mm hmm. HQ will now go down. Blue player's base will be cleaned up. Okay, Leviathan already popped out here. And I'm going to have to spread my base as you guys can see right there. I'm going to have to spread them like a wildfire. Oh no! Seraphim destroyed that Leviathan as it has zero anti-air upgrade. All right now, I'm going to have... Oh! Universal Soldier has also been space strike by this guy, but now we see that space strike right there, man. And I'm going to have to use my, uh, my Leviathan to head straight over here, prevent the blue player from rebuilding the base, as well as destroy the space thrust system. Okay, now we go ahead and uh, attack. No, I'm not going to attack this. As there are Vikings around here. I don't want to lose my entire Navy and uh, basically lose this entire fight. Okay, now pass it with the Seraphim. Switch target, switch target. Beam! Dead. Okay, using a recovery boost to recover the HP. Okay, more anti-air around here from this guy. Okay, Universal Soldier trying to obtain that super container. Again, switching to a common attack boost as there are attacks coming in to my, or taken by my Leviathan, so HP will not be recovered. Wow. Okay, cute. Yeah, I'm, I had it. I am going to have to use the nuclear of the Leviathan to kill that space system. There you go. And the scout here made by my wasp saw that this uh, blue guy is trying to prosper once again back into the game. Recovery boost to recover the HP once again with that Leviathan. Okay, acid burst preventing that uh, anti-air from being built. Solaris is all that is here to stop this attack. However, there's like three Molturrets. Oh man, that Molturret man has been obliterated. Poor Molturret. Okay, Leviathan, not full HP. Switch to Air Raid. And I'm going to have to retreat. But I think I'm going to lose my Leviathan here at this point. Okay, now walls are being built here desperately and now I'm gonna have to try and attack those Vikings Oh, there's like plenty of naval platforms around there Now if you can see here's my base. I'm planning to go for um Grenadura Dragonfly and so on But I think at this point it's already clear as day as to who will win this battle no more space system basically they're dead at this point all right now if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe smash the like button ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel also leave a comment down below what are your thoughts into this video do check out my previous videos as they contain tips tricks that can help you win a battle likewise commanders thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles bye